Hello Aquarius, welcome, thank you for coming back. If you're a returning subscriber, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming. Uh, please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe. Um, this is a general reading. Um, I have um, already shuffled and laid out the cards. So um, uh, as, the, as they are appearing um, in each house, I use the 12 uh, houses of the zodiac. As they're appear, appearing in each house, those are influences that are coming to bear for you at this time. So um, bottom of the deck is um, Sagittarius I use, and um, aspects of that are coming in for you um, in your chart this month. Um, what I'm seeing here is uh, that this is this is Sagittarius I see. This is about um, having faith um, and applying uh, lessons and wisdom uh, that you have gained, um, you know, wisdom from lessons that you have been involved in over the years. So this is the, this is about applying that knowledge now. Um, you may also have a lucky br uh, breakthrough of, of, of some kind. Um, so, um, but certainly it's, it's really is applying, uh, what you've already learned and seeing what needs to be done and then, you know, uh, applying those, uh, that wisdom uh, so that you can reap, so that you can reap benefits from it. Um, this is also about learning, learning new things. Um, and, uh, that can apply in a number of arenas for you. It could be technology. It could just be learning in general, but learning is coming up. Um, and, um, also the, the truth. Um, so whether this is you speaking your truth or you you finding or discovering your truth or, or working out what is actually working for you and what isn't and therefore it becomes a truth, um, this is very much, a, a, you know, about that as well. Um, it could also be that, you you know, it's coming up, um, we'll get to this later, but you'll see that you you need to be really, really careful about your communication at this time. Because um, Sagittarians, um, they can sometimes just say something, um, blurt something out. It's it's the truth and it needs to be said. However, it can come across as, uh, it, it can really um, put people off or it can uh, come across as very hurtful to others. Or, or just be saying something out of turn, so it completely tactless as well. So be very careful this month what you say and when you say it. Um, really going to be you know hugely important. Um, this card also brings in a desire for freedom of some kind. So you could be changing things up, or you could be presented with new opportunities, which then give you more freedom. Or you could be uh, with with you've got Saturn coming up in your chart quite a bit. With that. Um, this is about making better choices and therefore freedom from that, however difficult uh, the choices may be. Okay, so it's about finding that freedom. Um, it's also um, be careful um, with your money, your money expenditure uh, at this time, um, because um, another, again, another uh, aspect of um, Sagittarius is can be overspending or sort of indulgent, uh, be overindulging in things. Um, and uh, you may need to just be prudent at this time with certain aspects if you can. All right, so in the first house, we have uh, Mercury Retrograde Reinvention. This is one of the communication cards I was talking about. <coughs> so with this card coming in, this is an, a, a, it's going to come in for you during the course of this month. Whether it will cover the entire month, I don't think so. I think it's probably more than likely a week or so, or maybe a little bit longer, like 10 days or so, where you will be having uh, experience, uh, experiencing this. So then, um, it, you know, you're just going to have to watch the energies, see how things are going for you. And I, I think you will know, you will be able to pick it up when there's a turn for the better. But basically, um, this is about unforeseen changes, um, unknown or unpredictable energy, uh, and also unexpected things occurring. So what you may say or you, what you may intend may not be interpreted that way at all. All right. So, um, the, the, you know, the chances of being misunderstood or misinterpreted at this time is very strong. So now the first house is your house of yourself. Your, um, it's also about your physical body, your vitality, your life force. So all those internal things. Um, <coughs> but it's also how you are projecting yourself to others, how you are coming across to others, how you are making your way forward in the world. So it's your personal independence, your day to day, um, interactions and, and how you're moving through the world at this time. So it's internal, 
you know, it, it's also your physical body, it's your personality, your characteristics and so on, what people are seeing, what you're projecting, but it's also um, your own personal self-oriented interests as well um, and, uh, and, and how you are manifesting those at this time. So uh, with this card, as I said, the chances of being misunderstood or misinterpreted are very high during this period, which will occur at some point during this month. So um, it's it's very much be very very careful with all written documents and contracts at this time. Check, double check, triple check, because the chances of there being mistakes or errors or something being overlooked or not clearly understood or misinterpreted are very high again. Um, back up all your devices, um, all technology. Back everything up. Um, because, you know, you may lose data, you may lose something, uh, you know, there's, there's a whole range of possibilities. Something could, could just bomb and then you don't, you know, you lose various things. You don't have access to it for a number of days. Um, so just back up all your technology. Um, this card can bring in delays and cancellations as well. So something that you were planning or something that you want, were intending to do, um, just doesn't, uh, just doesn't happen for whatever reason. Um, but it's very much, uh, a going back to the drawing board card, this. It's about, um, whatever you, you know, try not to initiate big, important actions or new things at this time or signing of things at this time. So try and put it off until the energies have shifted. Um, and that is, uh, and that is very good, um, actually an opportunity for you to look at the, whatever it is that you were planning to do or you're intending to do, looking at it again. So this is review, revise, rewrite, reinvent. Anything with a re in front of it, okay, is appropriate during Mercury retrograde. So, um, and I just want to point out that the word reinvent or, or words associated with that is very highly indicated in, in just about every aspect of your chart this month. So this is very much a theme for you this month. Um, so it's a very good time, a time to go back to the drawing board, to revise what you were doing, to go over everything again with a fine tooth comb, to make quite sure that what you are saying and what you're intending there is, is the correct thing. Um, and it may take more than one draft to get it right. But w with this, um, with this, um, energy that this, uh, this card brings in, it does really, uh, create the opportunity to produce something much better than the original draft. Okay. So it's a very good time to go over this again and produce something much better. Um, avoid making electronic or big purchases. Um, so uh, purchasing of electronics or big purchases of any kind, because the chances of it not working or something happening with it or just not functioning correctly are quite strong. Also things like car services, um, try and put off until the energies have shifted if possible, um, because Mercury rules uh, vehicles as well. So, but it's, it's a really great time for meditation, for contemplation, um, for, for revising your plans, as I said, or reviewing things, really looking at things from all different angles, weighing things up. It's a very, very good time for that great time for meditation or even to go on some sort of um, time out where you spend time uh, in contemplation. Um, Mercury retrograde can also bring people from the past back into your life. So this could be a, a variety of people, but it can also bring a lover from the past. Somebody that you were deeply connected with at some point may sort of come appear back in your life again. And there is an opportunity there to reconnect with them at a much deeper or more um, fulfilling level as well, whether it's uh, permanent or just passing through. However, whatever is appropriate for you, your higher self will always guide you in that. Then um, in the second house, we have your destiny. Um, so the second house is your house of your income, the money that's coming in, how that how that's coming into you, the methods and so on, how you're earning it. Um, it's also your the, the house of self-worth, your self-worth, and also your values, what you value in yourself, what you value in others, and your value systems. So this can be ownership of all kinds, possessions, what you possess, and your views of the, uh, the ownership thereof. So with your destiny coming, and this is a testing time for you right now, um, this is a card of destiny. Um, it's about, um, you know, it's about sort of plowing your own, your own uh, way through things. Um, you're not going to get input and advice or support from others right now. Um, and um, you don't actually need it. It's not appropriate. Uh, because this is a this is a period of contemplation where you go inward to actually consult your inner GPS to actually find out for yourself 
what is the way forward. You actually do know what is the way forward. You simply have to plot it. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a case of navigation through various situations that are going on, navigating for yourself, finding your own truth and finding which path is right for you. Okay. So, um, it's, it's follow your own inner guidance now. Um, and, um, and, uh, you know, as I said, you're not going to get advice or, or help from others. And you may also feel out of step with others. You may feel different or just going off in your own direction and there's nobody else with you or nobody else joining in with you at this time. But that's appropriate. As I said, you may, if it's a family thing, you may feel sort of like a bit like a black sheep, like you're doing something very differently from the rest. Um, and you're just, you're just going to feel out of step from others right now. Um, but it's, it's appropriate and uh, just follow your own inner GPS. Um, and just trust that things will all work out as they're supposed to because it's a destiny card. Okay. So things are going to work out as they're supposed to. You just have to navigate and do your very best to make your way through the situations, whatever is occurring and find your own path. Um, there are fated circumstances around. So you're not going to be able to force issues. Um, but you do know what to do. Um, and, um, you're going to have to be inventive. This word keeps coming up again. Um, and, um, yeah, you just, it's, it's, it's a time of increased awareness, but it's inner awareness, um, as well. And it's finding solutions to certain things. There's pioneering involved if that is appropriate for you as well. So this, as I said, could, it, it seems to me to be mostly money related or income related, but it can also be dealing with possessions or, and your own self worth to do with that as well. Finding your own truth. Then in the third house, we have um, void, of course, moon missing. So um, the third house is your house of your communication. So um, all forms of communication, written, verbal, body language. Um, this house also covers all documents and contracts. Um, it also covers uh, communications in, in with people around you um, directly, but also with wider audiences, the public and so on. So whatever platform is right for you. Um, but it can also be to specific family members, so relatives, but also aunts, uncles, cousins, siblings, um, and even neighbors. Neighbors fall in on this as well. Um, the third house does also cover short journeys, short trips, local trips as well, if that is appropriate for you. But uh, with this card um, coming in, it's basically um, when, the, uh, when the moon um, changes sign, uh, you know, from one to the other house, uh, you know, it, it's moving from one, from one area to another. It goes quiet, uh, during that transition. And, um, so while it's doing that, um, you know, you don't have the moon's wisdom at your fingertips at that time. So, uh, basically what it's saying is, um, so this will occur during the course of this month. So it's basically just saying, stay as you are for now. So let um, let whatever's going around, whatever dramas are going around you, or whatever storm is passing over you, just let it resolve itself. Let matters settle or blow over. Don't initiate actions, new actions at this time. Um, you're going to get unpredictable results or wrong results. So leave anything new or untried until energies have shifted. So just stay silent. Stay. Um, you know, on your normal routine, do what you would normally do uh, and just use this as a sort of a rest or a pause period in which you are formulating. So you're thinking about things, dreaming, planning and so on, uh, but don't initiate right now. Um, don't lend money to people at this time. Um, and if you are sort of going on a short trip of some kind, you might just find that there's a delay or a frustration of some kind that comes up uh, with that. So again, wait until the energies have shifted before you undertake um, that at this time. Um, so it just looks like in general communications uh, and dealing with certain things um, just may um, may not work out for you at certain times. And it's just be aware of that and uh, rather wait until the energies have shifted, If you, especially if you need to initiate some important discussion or contract or paperwork um, at this time. Then in the fourth house, we have Saturn return age. So fourth house is your house of... Um, it's your house of home and also family. So it's your home, your physical structure, where you are actually living. Um, it's also the atmosphere in the home and the people in your home. But it can uh, it can also be to do with your relationship with your family, your roots, your foundation, your ancestry, your um, ethnic identity, whatever is appropriate for you. And so, you know any any anything of where, where you have come from, where you have uh, where you have emerged from, the family structure. So. 
uh, with this card, um, this is Saturn, um, it does a, rev a big revolution right around, um, your chart. Uh, you know, most people see two in a lifetime, sometimes three, but normally two, <coughs> one at the age of about 29 and one at the about 58, between 58 and 60. So depending on where you are in a life, but it's the energy that this card brings in, which is basically learning from the past. Okay. Looking back so that you can move forward. So you don't live in the past. What you do is you look back and you observe it in a sort of a clinical way, what worked, what didn't, uh, what you were supposed to do, what you haven't done, and what you would like to do, and so on. So it's a case of looking back so that you can move forward, learning from the past, applying the, the lessons that you learned from the past and applying them now to your situation. You, you, this is a, a facing it card. So face what must be done um, at this time. You're going to have to face it full on. Um, and it's a, it's a, the, the energy that comes with this card is release and redirect correction. Okay. So whatever, whatever has been going on in the past, um, and whatever has not been working for you, you need to release it and redirect. So, uh, and, and correct your course if that is also uh, applicable for you. Um, December, late December and January could be uh, appropriate for you, uh, at this time in some way. So, um, it really is a reality check, this card. Um, it's, it's, it's an, a thorough assessment of everything. Look at the foundations of everything. Anything that was wobbly or didn't have a strong foundation will crumble or won't work. Um, so only the things that have really stood the test of time will go, will go with you forward into the future. So it's also about taking responsibility for your dreams and your goals now. Uh, because you're assessing now. You're assessing now. You, you, you've looked at the past. You've you've had a look and, and seen what occurred, but you need to reassess your goals now and plan for now and how you're going to move forward. And it's mastery of your current goals, mastery of your goals now. That is what um, the very best um, implementation of of Saturn. Um, there may very well be a, a shift in your sense of freedom and responsibility because hopefully during this uh, period you will gain clarity on what direction or form you want your life to take and uh, this could also apply to where you're living currently how you want how you want things to go there now where you are whether you're changing or whether you're redirecting the energy perhaps you're changing something about your home structure however it is perhaps some of the people in your home are leaving now growing up and moving on and so on and, and it's a case of assessment now well, what what is what is appropriate for me now in my home environment or with my family so um so there's a shift in sense of freedom and responsibility because now you have clarity on what it is you want to do what you're meant to do what you were supposed to do and now you can move forward on it um so um you know that shift brings the freedom of choice now um and you know you now can shape your life uh, as well um also age and age issues may be coming up for you so whether this is related to yourself or it could be somebody in your home who is is experiencing age issues um and you are now as a as a direct influence there are, are having to deal with it in some way um so it's all, everything to do with aging possibly or age in the body just feeling older um bones tendons ligaments teeth all of the hard structures in the body, everything that holds you up, basically, um, that is the heart and the, and, the, and the strong parts of the body are ruled by Saturn. So um, it really, it, it, when it comes to your actual home itself, it could be the literal foundations that are requiring something, some sort of shoring up, or perhaps you're just assessing the home in general. Perhaps you've lived there a long time. Um, and also renovation may be coming in for you. There's a lot of ways that this can apply. Okay, Aquarius, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe um, and um, have a great month and take care and I will see you next time.